kick it. Hey guys, it's Robert and Jonathan from Hollybred Kennels. As you can see, we got little Sally girl out by herself again tonight. Guys, we're gonna try to hunt her and hunt her and hunt her some more until she gets the cranking. I know she's got it in her. I seen that last night. It's just a matter of time before she runs and trees her own coon up here. So uh, we're, we're depending on that. And guys, I've done this many a time. A lot of people's like, put them with the old dog, put them with the old dog. Well, guys, there's nothing wrong with that, I don't guess, but I've always had better luck with uh, hunting them by themselves like that. They make better independent dogs, guys. I, that's how I trained the black dog, didn't have not a thing to hunt him with. And I already know she knows what's going on, so. Yeah. So I'm not worried about her not knowing what's going on, guys, because I seen that she does know. And I believe if I'm hard as she hits a hot coon, she will tree it. It might take her a few trips, but hey, that's what this is about. I don't care a bit to walk her. She's going to do it. So, But uh, anyway, guys, we're going to let you know that we got her back out tonight. We're going to see if we can't get after one. We'll holler back at you if she gets struck or something. Hey, guys, we're back. We uh, we decided to come down here and get a uh, Bella Blue here. She's been sick on us. So we really don't know if she's going to do anything tonight or not, guys. We uh, She used to be the best pup trainer ever. So we decided to take her with Sally. Sally done really good by herself a while ago, but she, uh, she just didn't hunt. I mean, she hunted great, but she, she hunted good. But she just she didn't get after enough. Nose on the ground. I mean, hunted great. Yeah, it's like nothing great. suited her. It's right. like, you know, she thought that she, you know, smelled something, but she smelled it, and, you know, smelled around, you know, and then she just left it. So that made twice so. we've had her out by herself. So we're going to try her with an old dog. And like I said, Bella, before she got sick, he was a great, great pup trainer. So I'm hoping, guys, that she'll do good tonight. But uh, if she doesn't, I'm sorry. She's been sick. We just, that's why we haven't been hunting, hunting her, have we? No. But uh, that's the reason. we're going to take them up here, guys, and drop them and see if we can't get a coon tree. But I was going to, on the meantime, what, what time we stopped and picked her up, I was going to show you something real quick. We also picked up the girls. Say hi, hi Chas. Hi. Hi, Jazz. Hi. <laughs> we picked up the girls, too, guys, and uh, we're going to go up here. They're going to be doing the filming tonight. We're going to go up here and see if we can't get a coon tree, right? Right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. What do you say? What do you always say? What? At those hounds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At those hounds. See you in the woods, guys. Hey, guys. We're uh, we're up here. We're getting ready to cut loose. We brought uh, Bella Blue, like I said, and we brought Sally. We're going to turn them up this little road going up the hill here. If they don't do no good here, we're going to take them on around. So uh, let's get them out of the box, though. Turn that collar around on her. There you go. She'll get her out. Donna, she'll jump down. Let her jump. <laughs> My God, boy. My princess. Trust you back up. Guys, I think we can't get them in here. Come on, Sally. We've got a specific place that we want them to go. They going up that way? Okay, they're going the right way. And as soon as I get struck, we'll be right back. Guys, we uh, we just got back from that uh, second drop. We uh, we'll get right here and make a third drop. We uh, actually, guys, the dogs hunted great. I mean, we couldn't ask for no better. They got in there uh, probably almost 600 yards. Well, actually, at one time they was over a mile in there, wasn't they? 
But I ended up getting two of them to where they was almost 600 yards away. They was working a track, doing a great job trying to tree. Uh, I heard them, but there was there was a bunch of coyotes come in there, guys. And uh, we've had bad luck with them in the past. So uh, I knew Bella would come as soon as I called her. I didn't know Sally would, but she did as soon as we called her. She was actually the first one. Yeah, yeah. They quit and they come and get it to me, which I thank God for. I'm glad she handles like that because. Uh, you know, around here, sometimes them coyotes get that bad. They will come and attack their dogs. I've had them take mine right off the tree. So, uh... We, uh, we've had them take one right of a, uh, out of a dog. Oh, yeah, we let a house dog out one night. They come and got her, grabbed her by the neck, and took her up the hollow. We had to chase after them. Little Jamie. To get her. They about killed her. She's yet. about eight pounds at the time. Yep. We still got pictures and stuff where we had to take her to the vet, don't we? But, guys, uh... So I, I hate them. Yeah, I do too. But they're thick here, ain't they? But I got them off of that because I didn't want nothing to happen to them, guys. I mean, I'd, li- I'd like to treat coon, don't get me wrong, but I ain't, you know, I'd rather just get them off instead of, you know, get them hurt. But uh, we're getting ready to drop them right now, guys, and uh, hopefully we can get a coon treat. Hello, guys. We are uh, we just made it home. Uh, we didn't get a coon tonight, guys, but, you know, that's part of it. We w- We really wasn't... I don't guess you'd say really looking for it, was we? No, we, uh, this was more just to get Sally out. Just right. to see, you know, how she would do with another dog, which I think that, you know, Bella, she's getting older, and she was already blind in one eye. And Bella's pretty well quit, guys. I think she has. Yeah, um, she's pretty now well Now, she done. hunted, and she runs right that time. Yeah, she's done a good job. Just this last drop, guys, they run a beautiful track. Just didn't get treated. You know, I think it went in a hole because Bella tried and tried to tree on it. And guys, uh, Sally run it great. Uh, she located stuff too, man. Just, you know, that's all I was really worried about just to see how she done. And I got to see that. So, hey, that's all that mattered to me. I was tickled to death just to hear her, wasn't you? And, uh, but I, I'm afraid that Bella, I'm afraid that Bella's just pretty well, she's pretty well done in. But, you know, guys, that's what happens when they get older and start getting sick and things. And We got a new one right here, though. Hopefully, here pretty soon, we'll have her in the mountains, guys. You'll see her in a lot of these videos. We might retri- uh, retire Bella. I started to take Trey and or Jax tonight because we have really retired Bella. But uh, I decided to take her tonight because she hadn't been out in a while, and it was mainly just about Sally. Just to see how she'd do, but uh, she she road hunted really good. That, yeah, she done great, both guys. Of them did. I can not ask for no better. Yeah, they both hunted hard. She uh, they got after something, and you know it, they run a beautiful race. Yeah, sure, located. Yeah. Uh, I think if we'd have turned them loose about two minutes quicker, we we would have treated. Yes. But you know, as part of it in these mountains, they hit the hose quick if you don't uh, get cut on on them. Oh, right. my baby. But guys, seat. hopefully here pretty soon. Little Bree here, she, you'll you'll start seeing her in some videos. So, uh, but until next time, have those hands.